Noong June 4, 2022, naglapse into law ang Republic Act 11861 at ito yung tinatawag nating Expanded Solo Parents Welfare Act. And alam naman natin, solo parent, ang uh, batas na ito ay nagbibigay ng uh, additional benefits to single parents. No? And uh, bakit naglapse in the law? Under our Constitution, President Duterte could have vetoed the law. Kung ayaw niya itong batas, eh, hindi niya sana inaproban. Pero uh, since... Uh, Hindi niya inaksyonan within 30 days from the time he received the final enrolled form uh, coming from the Senate, then it became a law. Unang-una, dito sa Expanded uh, Solo Parent Welfare Act, eh, nagbibigay siya ng 1,000 monthly cash subsidy for solo parents earning minimum wages. So, ang minimum wage ngayon ay 380 pesos per day. At uh, if you feel that you are uh, qualified and you are a single parent, then you are entitled to claim from the DSWD a subsidy of 1,000 pesos. Aside from that, a solo parent has a discount on certain medicines and food supplements at ito ay 10%. No, at uh, ito ay of course uh, pag uh, ito ay pinurchase ng isang low income solo parent who have children below 6 years old. So meron siyang category. Unang-una dapat eh, low income ka. Pangalawa, yung mga anak mo ay dapat below 6 years old in order to be entitled to a 10% discount sa medicines. Uh, among others also, ikaw ay mabibigyan priority sa low-cost housing coverage ng ating uh, National Housing Authority kung ikaw ay mag apply Then also, you are entitled to coverage from PhilHealth. And uh, of course, uh, when it comes to the terms and conditions of work, hindi ka dapat i-discriminate ng iyong employer. Dahil ikaw ay isang solo parent. No? And uh, ang, uh, ang sabi sa study ng ating gobyerno, eh, there are more than 14 to 15 million solo parents in the Philippines. With the majority of them, 95% of them are women. So ang solo parent does not only refer to women. Kung ikaw ay lalaki no, at single parent ka, then you should also be entitled to these benefits. Nung araw sa solo parent law, eh, meron kang leave doon sa trabaho na paid leave if you are a solo parent. This has been expanded by this new law. At ang sabi nila, you have a forfeitable and non-commutable parental leave of 7 days na paid by your employer no forfeitable pag hindi mo ginamit then next year wala na siya cumulative non cumulative in the sense that pag hindi mo ginamit hindi mo siya pwedeng i-pass on to your next year so dapat gamitin mo yung benefit na yan